Hello everybody. Look at this beauty. Dragonflies hovering over the water. Slight breeze around 75 degrees. Blue sky. And I am ready for another overnight trip. This time I choose these nice smaller lakes, hopefully without any kayakers or any other people. I have simple sleep system, which is uh, wooby and uh, mosquito net. Uh, also, I have uh, some food, let's say four uh, bottles of water. And uh, I also took portable saw, as always, knife, and that's all. So I will see how this trip will develop. It didn't take long <laughs> and there are two kayakers already so I have to keep low for now. We had rain last night and uh, day before as well and these collected a lot of water as you see. So you can just find straw and drink the water straight from the leaves. Pure water. As you saw, it was almost impossible to walk through that stuff. So I decided to try the woods one more time. And yes, <laughs> this is much, much better. There are mosquitoes, but I can cover myself or just move. When you stop, they are on you. Like sting on sh <laughs> Okay, sometimes enough is enough. And uh, I have mosquito net. And I have some kind of idea how to protect at least my head. I thought I can make it, but it's really crazy. Whoa. So, here is the military style mosquito net. Something like this. Back to comfortable walk. So I believe I finally got to the edge behind me of the bigger pond. And there should be the island I would like to spend night on. So let's check it out. I cannot get to the water's edge. So I need to find different entrance. I decided to stop by for a while to dry some of my clothes. Especially the t-shirt. And probably I will hydrate a little bit more and uh, possibly eat something. I need to find a good spot to either enter the water or launch the raft. So it will be a bit challenge, but I think the, the island is over there, but I need to see that from the water's edge to climb up this tree to get better view over the cattails and possibly see one of the islands. Okay, so let's go find the clearing in the cattails. I am now somewhere in the middle. I need to go that way. Uh, I get to the point where there is a little channel which I can cross right now. And uh, here is some channel. And the way getting narrower and narrower. Uh, I 
somehow made a big mistake because I didn't realize I will not have enough building material to build the raft. Stupid mistake. Now I have to go all the way back and probably get to the location where I started the trip because there was nice uh, clearing to get into the water and uh, also some supplies. So I hate to say that but back in the woods. And here we go again. I am back at this spot. Unfortunately I'm not gonna build a raft because water there is too shallow and those garbage bags would be destroyed. So as I was looking around where I would uh, make my base camp This is not bad and I decided to cut some of the fresh leaves of cattail and uh, lay the bed with it. Now I need to bring four sticks or possibly more to attach the mosquito net and over that the camouflage netting. Big advantage of building here is the ground is extremely soft so I don't have to basically pound anything anywhere I will just measure how wide the top of the net is and just shove this into the ground and that's it excellent all right so mosquito net is set up and now the camouflage net And I believe this is well hidden shelter. Even from the air. <laughs> and uh, as I am surrounded by the cattails, I brought a piece of stock and uh, the inner meat, if I can say, is edible. It's like an onion with layers. Not bad. Very soft. And I already used uh, all my drinking water. I have one last bottle uh, which I'm saving for cooking for the dinner because I will have noodles and beef jerky as always. So I come up with an idea that uh, I can make a straw from uh, the cattail stock as well. Uh, when I cut uh, this one before somehow the plant pushed out this end and I am trying to somehow uh, take it out so it will leave maybe you can see hollow inside and it's coming out you see perfect this might work. Let's try to drink water from the plants I showed you in the morning. Alright, this is the plant and here is a lot of water to drink it. Not bad. It has like a plant scent and last thing I wanted to try I don't need to start fire uh, 
I will have uh, probably the cooking can for heating up the noodles because uh, I don't want to draw attention to me with the smoke and everything and smell but uh, I wanted to try uh, the method I have this beautiful tinder and I found around you know, here is another trash it's not mine uh, small plastic bag and I filled it with uh, the water from the pond so I will try maybe add more water and we'll try to at least start the amber just for the practice purpose the sun is low at the sky it's around 6 p.m. so it's probably not gonna work but like I said it's just for practice I tried for last 10 minutes at least also on my skin to check if I can feel any kind of heat but I believe uh, this is not the best uh, bag and also the uh, sun is not that strong another massive tick So I will just enjoy the rest of the day, probably another hour, hour and a half. The sun should be lower and I will start with cooking. After that, just crawl in my shelter and call it a day. So now it's dinner time. What I have here, this is can, it's similar to sterno but this is uh, six hour chaffing fuel so I'm not sure if this will have enough uh, heat to at least heat up not boil but heat up the water so let me start it with the uh, which I have here the ferro rod One spark should light it up. Let's see. Ah, it looks good, I believe. You see, we've got a flame. Nice. and beef jerky okay so as you see the sun is gone and I hope I am finally alone here so I will prepare for the night in the shelter uh, I will just probably lay on the uh, Wubi, if needed, will have it ready to put it over me. That's probably it for now. If uh, there will be something to report uh, during the night, you will be with me. Otherwise, see you in the morning, guys. Good morning everybody, ah, it's around 6 a.m. and I am on the hunt for water. The night was not bad, uh, I didn't sleep uh, that much as I was hoping for, uh, but uh, that's, <laughs> that's how it is. And uh, basically today I need water, so I have some rack and uh, this this pot my plan is to collect water by making this rack 
soaking wet in a grass because everything is covered by dew, by heavy dew. Let me show you my pants already, already wet just by walking a couple of yards here. So somehow, you know, with one hand it's not that efficient, but it's heavy dew here. It's like after rain or something. And the rag is getting wet partially, so I will take care of it more. I will then squeeze or try to squeeze as much water from the rack into the pot and I don't think so, I need to boil it. And look how much water I have already. This full, I believe it's uh, around uh, one quarter of gallon. So it's a lot of water in, let's say, five minutes. So I need to continue and I can have water for entire day if I need it. It's excellent. And now I can just slowly transfer this into the empty bottle. Yeah, it's not perfectly clear, but uh, I believe it's drinkable for sure. Not bad. So I will show you another way uh, how to drain the water from the leaves of, of those uh, plants if you don't have a straw but possibly have this kind of pot you can just uh, put under the leaf with water and tear the leaf all the way and it will drain itself into your pot look it's a nice sip, but it will definitely help in emergency. I will pack the camp and uh, slowly go towards my pickup location. I hope you enjoyed this trip. It was really beautiful and nice around these ponds. So thank you for your uh, comments, watching, support everything what you do for us certainly we will try to come with the new video as soon as possible we have some other ideas which we would like to present to you and until then guys take care and stay safe